So, we are going to do SOD, PvP, healer tier list for level 40. And disclaimer, this is going to be a prediction list. We don't know what runes are coming in yet. We don't know what rune changes they're going to do. So the best guess we can do is looking at the spells and talents that, that the, the healer specs are going to be getting close to 40, around 40, or between 25 and 40 if they're like unique things like innovate, stuff like that. If some specs get good ranks, you know, 38, 40, stuff like that, then they're going to be more impactful than, than the lower ranks. Um, so with this information, we can look at where things currently are in the tier list and try and adjust it slightly to where we think, you know, whether we think it's gaining power compared to everything else based on the, the, the talents and stuff they learn uh, and, and the spells they get or whether we think they're going to comparatively lose some power and we're going to move it down in the tier list if that's the case. So we're going to start out with Disc and I think Disc is still going to be S tier for just everything basically um it's probably going to lose a little bit of power on its own in world pvp but dueling i think i think it's still going to be strong um and in pre-mades and group pvp i think it's probably still going to be the best healer mainly due to double dispel but it's getting good ranks of shield and flash great heal uh your tanky within a fire mana burns always nice and you get a load of mana efficiency stuff from the disc talents now the main downfall of it is the fact that you are if you want to take PI, you're not going to have healing focus and you basically need healing focus to, to run penance because of the pushback on it in SOD. So you aren't realistically going to be running PI that much unless you're going to give up the, the penance basically or, or play way more risky in the back. Uh, sorry, way less risky in the back. So you you know aren't targeted at all, which is kind of a boring playstyle in my opinion. But yeah, that might be, uh, might be a thing. So yeah, disc in S tier is going to be my first ranking. Next up, we've got Resto Druids. Move that along slightly. And Resto Druids are picking up Innovate. They're getting Travel Form. They're getting a nice rank of Rejuve at 40. They're getting Tankier Bear Form. Uh, healing Touch at 38. And then the Regrowth is at 36. The Regrowth, not as nice, but the other two definitely big pickups. And then the Wrath at 38 is really nice as well, considering they have a, a, a Wrath for free rune. In addition to this, the talents that they are able to get is uh, things like NS, uh, Ref Reflection, and Swift Men, which are all going to help their, their burst healing, which is kind of lacking at the moment. And on top of that, I think Resto scales really, really well with healing. So as the phase is going to go on, you know, as, as we're going to get higher and higher level, all this nice new gear that's coming in from these raids is going to have a lot more healing on, like the the level 25 stuff has way more than you know you know you normally would see on 25 gear and this really really benefits druid and i think druid is going to just continue to scale upwards as they they get more bonus healing and they get more efficient because of it life bloom is going to start being really a problem their hots in general are going to be really 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 strong and it will get to the point where you won't be able to kill a target if it's hotted so i don't think druids are quite there yet but i think that they are justified in a tier i think they're going to be solid uh, they have a lot of utility and uh, make a pretty good backup healer for a priest, I would say. Next up, we've got Holy Pala. Holy Pala was in C tier before. They still don't get offense. Uh, sorry, they still don't get defensive dispel. They get it at 42, which is a huge problem for them. So I, I'm, I'm hesitant in moving Holy Pala up that much. They get a few new new things, but not that much in the way of actually utility. You know, they get a little bit more healing, a little bit more mana efficiency from their talents, but nothing to, to write home about. And they're really lacking just raw healing, I think, at this point. Uh, they get Shadow Resor a bit longer bubble, but this isn't going to make that much difference compared to what they normally have right now. They're getting Plate. This is probably the biggest thing. They're going to be more tanky. Uh, 40 Hodge, which is just increased duration, and then Holy Light at 30, which is going to be nice. But I just don't think it's enough with the lack of Dispel to actually bring them up. I just don't think they're going to be comparative with, with Resto Druids. Honestly, they, they're very close to still being C tier. Uh, a lot of their runes that they currently have aren't great. Things like Divine Sack are actually magic on here, so they're Dispellable. And yeah, overall, Paladin's getting shafted a little bit. So maybe they get some love with runes. Hard to say, but we're not basing this tier list around that. So we'll have to wait and see for that. Next up we have got resto shaman and i think resto shaman is a spec that could very well push up into s tier 
next uh, next phase, depending on if they get Riptide. I think if they get Riptide, they're going to be very, very strong. As long as Riptide is, like, scaled properly, basically, um, and isn't just healing for about two. I think the Riptide is going to fill a big gap in their kit. And they have a lot of healing, but also a lot of utility. You know, they have Grounding coming in. They have Earthshock 36. They got Double Purge. Loads of healing, chain heal, NS, decent mana, um, yeah, reincarnation, wind fury term, then you know, the list goes on. So Shaman has great, great utility. And at the moment they're kind of restricted in their healing abilities because they have to cast quite long heals to actually do any decent healing. And they're not that mana efficient. Um But if they're able to run something like Water Shield next patch and just have all of this extra utility and healing. You know, on top of Riptide, if they get Riptide, I think they're BS tier. But with all this stuff, I think A tier is uh, a good place for them. I think they're they're around where Druids are. They're a different kind of healer. I think they're a more offensive healer than Druids. Druids have kind of got the, the defensive utility, whereas Resto Shamans have got the offensive utility. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put Resto Shamans in in A tier with Resto Druids, and again makes it a nice backup healer for the for the Disc Priest for sure. And then finally, we have got, and this one's a bit booky, is Arcane Mage. And I think I find this one quite hard to, quite hard to rank personally, uh, just because you don't see that many Arcane Mages, and you see even fewer actual good Arcane Mages that are really taking advantage of their whole kit. You know, they a lot of them they get pigeonholed and stuck into just only healing, and you don't see any decent utility coming out. You forget they've still got Poly, they've still got Novas, they've still got CS. They still got this whole kit. The mages have and you kind of just see them almost tunnel visioning into the the healing role but they actually do have really good aoe healing so yeah it's uh it's definitely something that could potentially be on the radar or something that's really really strong in bgs going forward and, and i think they potentially will have the best aoe healing in the game if uh if tuned correctly and if people actually get to grips with them but i think that is the thing right people are still learning how to play the spec well in in pvp and it's just not kind of reached its full potential yet as a result of that um i'm gonna put it at the moment in b tier i think these two healers are, are still a bit stronger than it but it definitely if people improve on it, it definitely has the potential to move up and fill that more offensive sort of utility role plus sort of midfield healer role where you just really want that aoe healing uh, i think it's better than paladin so paladin is like here like halfway um, but uh, yeah, I'm reluctant to put Pala in C tier since they are getting some nice stuff. But yeah, I just don't think that that Paladin is, is, is on the same level um, as, as any of the other healers. Uh, you'll notice I've actually left out Holy Priest. Holy Priest is basically the same as Disc Priest in the way that it operates. Uh, you will just take more points down in the Holy Tree and have basically more raw healing power. Uh, it's very awkward with 40 talent points. And I think the main reason you would go for it is if they do something juicy with Lightwell on the runes so maybe it could happen we'll wait and see but i think at the moment the disc talents are just more suited towards playing the sort of that healer healer role than the holy talents are uh due to the mana issues that the spec actually has so yeah that's why i've kind of left holy off at the moment but you could potentially see holy priests next patch uh, so don't count them out so yeah, that's it. That's the, the healer tier list. Not as many as the DPS, so a lot, lot shorter video, but that's my, my picks. And remember, the runes could change everything. So, you know, take this potentially with a pin pinch of salt. This is the best info we've got right now. So if you want to pick something based on this, it's better than flipping a coin, right? Looking forward to the next, the next patch. A couple of weeks. It's going to be good. Have a good one.